Hi guys, so today's video is going to be a back to school makeup routine. This is just a really quick and simple makeup routine that you can start doing for your back to school time. This is what I would wear every day to school. It's a very simple and fast look and it's very interchangeable for like if you've got products that I don't have. You can still use your own products and I've been loving all these back to school videos that I've been doing. I think they are so much fun and I've been posting them non-stop because I've got so many that I just want to like get them going as fast as I can so I really hope you guys have been loving this series um, I am currently doing a giveaway on my Instagram so definitely go check it out it's a huge back to school giveaway I'm giving away a backpack all the school supplies you'll need and then like all the extra little fun stuff that like you just don't want to buy yourself don't worry I got it for you so go check it out on my Instagram and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it and let's just get started into the tutorial if you see me looking over here it's because my mirror is right here and I try to put it as like close to the lens as I could I don't know I don't really do many makeup tutorials so I'm not an expert it's really hot in my room right now should I turn the fan on you'll probably be able to hear it but that's okay okay so I'm gonna put my hair back in a headband that way I can just have my hair out of my face and of course I am doing this makeup video when it's like kind of almost that time of the month again and my skin is like not happy with me oh my gosh the lighting just changed why 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 like this dude right here he's making me mad cuz he hurts but it's okay so I'm going to start off with my born this way foundation this is one of my favorite foundations I try to find a new one but I just could not find one it's like medium to full coverage but I don't think it's full coverage and I'm gonna use this real technique sponge my favorite sponge is the beauty blender but I'm just trying to use this for the rest of the summer I did just buy a brand new one but I don't want to use it until I go to school so I just put like half a pump on my sponge and just dab it all over my face like what is this like why are you on my neck I don't know I hate being a girl because my period it's like bad enough that I'm bleeding but my face decides to break out too and I know like every girl struggles with that but it's like why okay so after I completely blend out all my foundation then I add concealer and sometimes I'll put it on the bottom but today it needs to go on top because like they are popping out so I'm just using this bye bye under eye full coverage anti-aging waterproof concealer um, it's by it cosmetics and I've been liking it I don't know if I love it I've never found a concealer that I love um, I've used even the Tarte Shape Tape. I hated that. That looked so bad on my skin. But now I'm just going to blend that out with this brush. It's the Luxie 207 Angled Shading Brush. I use it for concealer. I find that it works really well and I like it. Now that I'm done with my foundation and concealer, I'm going to add some powder. This kind of adds everything together. Like right now my face just looks like bleh. But this will change everything this is the best powder ever it's the Laura Mercier translucent powder it is seriously the best I will never change powders and then I like to take the top of like this little like the flat part of this and put it under my eyeball because I feel like this sets it better than like a regular brush Okay, and then once I set it with the Beauty Blender, I just go in with this Morphe S10 brush and put it all over my face. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with bronzer. I'm going to be using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer with this Luxie 660 foundation brush. I like it for bronzer because it's like domed, so I just kind of swirl it, tap all that extra off and then I put it in my cheekbones I'm not really contouring but like I kind of am okay and then after I add that bronzer since I did I kind of just got back from the beach so I am a little bit tanner than normal um, I like to add on this butter bronzer just everywhere because it just gives you this really pretty glow Oh, and I'm using this like big It Cosmetics brush. It is the best. 
And then I added down my neck to just like blend everything together. I don't know. Okay, and then I like to add blush. So my two favorite blushes that I use every single day that like I just go back and forth is the Tarte Feisty or the um, the Balm Balm Springs one. This is broken, but I think I'm gonna use this one because I want more of a light glowy look and that's what this one is and this one's a little bit darker. And I only have the sample size. I really need to get the full size, but they're very, very similar, but this one's a little bit lighter. So I just smile and put this on my cheekbones. I think blush, I used to not wear blush, but it is so important now. Like it literally adds so much life to your face. Ooh, I kind of put a lot on, but oh well. Perfecto. So now I'm going to do my brows, which this literally, like I don't do anything special. People are always like, what do you do for your brows? I'm like, nothing, I don't know. I just kind of like brush it out and then like fill it in a little bit like just the tail because that's what I'm lacking but I don't do anything else and then that one's done and then I go to the next one this one's my difficult child he's like really thick right here like this one has a nice arch but this guy like he's difficult so I just kind of like try my best with him but he never really looks great. But now I'm going to use my favorite palette ever. It is the Tartlet in Bloom palette and this has just like the most neutral colors. So I'm literally going to do barely anything because it's back to school, you know? Like we wanna look, wanna look nice, but we don't wanna look overdone. So I'm just gonna add these first two, you literally can't even see what I'm doing. I'm gonna add these first two colors all over my lid. And then for my crease, let's find my crease brush. I'm going to add in the butter bronzer in there. That's a tip, is just to use whatever bronzer you used. It kind of ties your whole face together. So I'm just putting that in the crease. I'm not like being perfect with that. I'm literally being so sloppy. And that's it. That is all we are going to do because it's back to school and we're going simple. And honestly, like that's what I do every day so yeah now is the best part we are going to take our eyelash curler guys there's not an eyelash curler that compares to this this is the Tarte eyelash curler I don't know it's the best thing ever and what I like to do is heat it up with my hair dryer before I put it on my eyeball um, fair warning like that is probably not the smartest thing to do so Maybe like really think about if you want to do it because you could probably burn your eyelashes off or burn your eye. I've done it before. Not to burn my eyelashes off, but I have burned my eyeball doing it. Or another tip is you can just use waterproof mascara and you don't need to do it. Waterproof mascara holds a curl so good. So just do whatever you want to do. Oh, and before I do my mascara, I always put on chapstick just to like get my lips ready, you know. I could put this on for days. And my blow dryer. It literally takes two seconds to heat up. I'm gonna pull this thing closer. And I just curl my eyelashes. Okay, so that is what they look like after they're curled. It makes such a big difference, and a lot of people ask me how my eyelashes are so long. And I do use the Rodin and Fields Lash Boost. If you don't know what that is, it's this like lash serum that you put on your eyelids or where your eyelashes are every night and it literally grows your eyelashes so long and I even stopped using it for a while because they were like getting long and then I just started doing it like once a week and they still are amazing okay I'm gonna zoom you in a little bit I absolutely love it I'll link it down below it is a little bit expensive but the girl that I get it from said that she'll give you guys a special deal she'll give you a free product if you purchase it and if you become like a uh, like a member so you pay like a $20 fee one time and then you get 10% off any products that you order and free shipping every time and shipping's like $20 so you're saving money if you do that so I will have the lash boost that I use linked down below and you can get it for yourself if you want it and like I said she'll get a free gift so I'll leave her email and you can like email her and be like, hey, I came from Jacqueline's channel, I want to buy this, or really anything.
Okay, so this is my finished look. I'm not going to put lipstick on just because it is like I'm just going to school even though honestly I would wear lipstick to school. But not everybody does so you can choose your own lipstick that you want. And yeah, I really hope you guys like this tutorial. It's super easy and just simple. And so don't forget to check out my giveaway on my Instagram and like this video if you liked it and comment down below and tell me what you're most excited about for starting school and what you're least excited about for starting school. Um, I really hope you guys like this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.